glamorous girls and welcome back to the vloggy if you're new here my name is scarlett i post really girly fashion beauty and lifestyle content and the occasional vlog like this one every monday so if you're not already don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'm currently here in sydney i'm in the city staying in a hotel i have back-to-back -back work events with brands um the next two days some really exciting things happening so i thought i'll turn on the camera and take you guys along with me it's about four o'clock in the afternoon Tonight's event is with NYX Cosmetics. It's a NYX party and that starts at 6.30. So I have a bit of time to kill. I am absolutely starving. I... Oh my God, being back in the city, I can hear all the traffic noises again. It's weirdly nostalgic. If you're new and you didn't already know, I lived in Sydney for five years. And then about June of last year, I moved to my hometown, which is Newcastle. It's like two and a half hours drive from Sydney and it's a small coastal town. So being back in the city is so nice for me. I love it. And I love having like the best of both worlds and getting to enjoy little staycays when I come down for work stuff like this. What was I going to say? Yeah, so I caught the train this morning um, and from the train I came straight here to this cute little hotel that I'm staying in. There's not much to it. I mean, I'll give you guys a little tour, but it's so small. Sydney hotels are tiny unless you want to pay like an upgrade for a bigger room, which is not really my prerogative, but to each their own. When I left, it was like just before lunch. It was too early to eat lunch. And then when I've arrived... It's like too late to eat lunch. It's almost four o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm going to have like a bit of a snack because I'm pretty sure there's food at the event that I'm going to tonight. I obviously want to enjoy like the nice free food. Like I'm not crazy. I have forgot my ID and I really want to go and buy a little bottle of champagne or something. I'm so annoyed that I did not bring my ID and I know that they will ask me. They always ask me. Even though I definitely look like I'm over 18. A glass of champagne in the hotel bar because i know the hotel receptionist knows i'm over 18 because she saw my id on my phone i had to show her a picture of my id on my phone because i didn't have my wallet and it was just embarrassing the whole thing how does this always happen to me I don't want to eat too much because i'm wearing a super low-waisted skirt and i don't want to be bloated anyway i'm just rambling now let's show you the room you come in here it's literally just a bed but i like the chandelier and the art deco kind of vibes that are going on in here also, they give you this cool rack, which I think will be convenient for hanging my outfits on for the next couple of nights. And then we've got a little table and a seat situation, a full length mirror, which to me is so important that a hotel has a full length mirror. My little OOTD, I got this top from PLT, some cargos from Supre, and my Adidas, what are they called? Gazelles. <laughs> We got a TV, little bar situation. There's nothing in the mini bar I already looked. <laughs> um, and then a tiny little bathroom. I like the vibes of it, but it's so small. ordered a champagne to my room and this is such a sleigh i have a little marble tray for my champagne glass how aesthetic i'm just getting ready now i have about an hour and i wanted to film like a tiktok get ready with me as well my hair is insane because it's so windy outside i went to go and get food but then like all the food options were way too much it was like full like mexican like or like a full um, grilled burger or din tai fung dumplings or something. And I was just like, it's way too much. Like I just needed a light snack. Um, and nowhere was kind of like giving me that option. So this is literally what I bought. Crackers, dip, and there's a cheese in here. I was literally kind of just like having my own little snack plate in the room. Anyway, I ordered a glass of champagne to the room. I told you guys I've got my ID so I couldn't go to the bottle shop. But it's fine. I managed to order one to my room. But I did not want to go and sit in the busy hotel bar. I just wanted to have one while I get ready. I don't know if I'm vibing with these curls tonight. But it's too late because they're in my hair. And I kind of wish I just did a sleek blowout. But whatever. I'm going to do some makeup. Let me set up my makeup stuff. I brought so many makeup bags with me. It was so unnecessary. I have this weird thing where I don't like my 
like wet makeup brushes and wet makeup to touch my dry makeup because I've had a few disasters with that before. Cute little setup. Okay, I'm gonna do my makeup and I will show you guys the finished result when I'm done. OOTN, I just did my makeup and got ready. Gorge earrings and top from Princess Polly. Skirt is from Cider. Boots are from Zara. And then I'm gonna take my new this awesome gold handbag. This fit is so cute. Okay, I just ordered my Uber. I'm going to the party. I'm meeting my friend Kylie there. So excited, so ready. Let's go. <laughs> Setting spray in the bathrooms. Um, slay. Okay. Take one off. Put it on. On you? Yeah. Close your eyes. Why is it smelling cherry? The girlies are reunited. Queen. With Liz and Kylie. Queens, queens, queens. Are you vlogging tonight? I'm yeah. vlogging every night. Yeah. I just got home from the NYX party. My room is somehow a mess. Um, I'm gonna clean this up quickly before I go to bed because I cannot sleep knowing that my room looks like this. I just wanted to show you guys. Look at what they gave me. The biggest goodie box. Like, what? This is the size. Wait, where is it? This was the regular goodie bag. And that is what they gave me and Kylie. Literally just because we were chatting to them after the event, they gave us this whole massive box. Like, if you're just nice to people, they will treat you so good. Like, that is a lesson to just be nice and make conversation. I also have so many fairy floss things and lollies. I feel like I have to eat this tonight, otherwise it's going to go bad. It's good, but like, fairy floss is a bit much for me. It's just sugar. It's all sugar. Anyway, I'm going to tidy up my room before bed. This bed could not look more appealing right now. I'm getting in. I'm going to watch some Netflix and call it a night. I'm so excited to just like have a night to chill on my own. It's very exciting. Netflix, bed, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, gorgeous, glamorous girls. It's now Thursday morning. I laid in bed way longer than I'd like to admit, to be honest. It's about 10 o'clock. I had a little bit of coffee and did some work. I took it slow, got ready in my hotel room, and now I'm gonna leave and go and get breakfast. There's the cutest Parisian cafe, like a 10 minute walk from where I'm staying, and I've been there before, I love it. So I'm gonna go there for breakfast. I've got a solo day completely on my own all day. I think I might go get my eyebrows done at Benefit, which I love, if you know, you know look around the city. I want to look in Zara, pick up my favorite macarons that I can only get in the city. And I'm kind of excited to just have a day on my own to explore in the city and do my own thing. I haven't had a solo date day in so long. And yeah, I'm really excited about it. So let me show you my outfit. Um, okay, starting at the top, earrings from Pretty Little Thing, Bayless sunglasses, this little tank from H&M, this big trench from my old work. It doesn't exist anymore, so sorry. <laughs> my bag from Charles and Keith. Cider jeans. And my same pink Adidas sneakers from yesterday. It's a very, like, out and about exploring outfit. And I'm here for it. I think it's really cute. And I like the matching pink shoe, pink bag moment. But I desperately need a coffee and a croissant. So let's go.
my loves i'm back i literally just had a bit of a rest in the bed of the hotel um lost track of time again i have to go so soon so i'm gonna take a shower take off my makeup get ready um i'll show you my outfit that i'm wearing tonight i'm so excited to wear it and yeah this is the outfit of the night i'm obsessed with this dress it looks gorgeous on makeup's halfway done i'm gonna do like a serious it go eye I'm doing like black and gold and lots of eyeliner. Nervous, but it's happening. It's tonight's setup. Just a minute for the glamour of the situation. I'm in the most glamorous dress in my city hotel room. I literally am living out my Serena Van in life and I just needed to take a moment to soak it in. I have to order my Uber. We're meeting at the casino for I don't know what it's a surprise and then we're being escorted to dinner which is at Bambini Trust a very nice restaurant in Sydney that I've always wanted to go to but never had the opportunity to go to I'm so excited and I get to see Madeline which I'm so excited about too because I haven't seen her in since the Kalani Kini shoot and I'm gonna squeeze her all right gotta order my uber we're on the way with the girlies, okay, Kylie and Emma. Everyone's dressed up because the theme was Met Gala, so. Mm. Oh, was that the theme? Yep. <laughs> We're kind of giving Met Gala. I don't think <laughs> I'm not giving Met Gala. There's no way. Oh. Look how pretty Kylie's hair looks. Oh my god, you're so fun. And Emma's giving business woman <laughs> queen. She's not Met Gala, but I tried. So. <laughs> She's giving CEO. Yeah, CEO. This lighting is not it. My light died, so we're using my phone light, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We make boo. Wanna be cool like you, traveling around in your high heels, shoes, I'm clumsy. Made friends with the floor, two for one, you know a bitch by four and two left feet, you know I always drive. My first thing a girl did was pop on the whole damn cake and a cherry on top. Shook up the ride, I made a good girl. Pop. You ain't even here to party, can in the club tryna pay for Barbie. I don't wanna go 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 with the flow back then until I touch my toes. I don't wanna go go go. Yeah, they are. 
Hi ladies, good morning. Oh, I'm like puffed out because I just zipped up my suitcase and it's so full. I don't know why it's like 10 times heavier leaving than it was when I was arriving, but it's fine. Sorry about this lighting. Like I said, my use my phone light, you might be able to see me a bit better. My light, my little Alex L light died and I'm really struggling. I was like hating all the content that I made last night at the event because I didn't have my light and I'm cursing myself for forgetting the charger, but it's fine, whatever. The event was amazing. Pretty little thing absolutely outdid themselves. I'm sure you could see it was so glamorous. Had the best night. The food was incredible. I can't remember if I included clips of my food or not, but like the best spaghetti and the tiramisu. <laughs> it was such a good night. So good hanging out with all my friends and catching up with them because being in Newcastle and being like away from the city, I don't get to see other girls in the industry a lot and like my friends. So it's so nice being able to come down here and socialize and feel like I have a social life again. I need to make some friends in my city because I have none, but I have so many beautiful girls here and I love coming down and seeing them. I'm going to get Starbucks now. I need a coffee desperately. I didn't end up going to bed until like midnight last night because I couldn't sleep. I was still like on a high from the event and I couldn't like unwind. So I just like went on my phone for a little bit until I got tired, which was midnight. And then I got up again this morning at 8.30. So... It's not as many hours as I would like and it wasn't like a consistent sleep because I'm uncomfortable in the hotel bed. Like I just have this weird thing where I don't have good sleeps in hotel beds. So there's that. Anyway, point of the story, really need a coffee. Going to Starbucks, probably get a bagel and then I got to check out of my hotel at 11. So I'm kind of pressing it for time and get on the train. So let's go do all of that really quickly. train back to Newcastle I've been back for like an hour I quickly got dressed and redid my makeup because I'm going to high tea with my dad it was my dad's birthday last weekend and I got him a little high tea as his birthday present it's my outfit of the day my dress from revolve same bag and shoes that I was wearing last night please ignore the state of my wardrobe right now it's so messy I have so much to do like clean this up but I just wanted to show you guys my outfit and tell you guys what I'm doing quickly gorgeous glamorous girls how are we sorry i didn't get a chance to like properly sign off this vlog it's been a few days <laughs> i was just doing some editing and filming my next video and then i was like wait i never actually filmed an outro for this vlog so i just thought i'd jump on and say thank you so much for watching thank you for the support i hope you enjoyed this very glamorous couple of days in my life. I was literally just in the city partying for two days straight. Like that was the whole purpose of the trip, but it was so much fun. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post gorgeous, glamorous, girly videos every Monday. Like always, if you have any video suggestions or vlog suggestions, let me know in the comments because I could definitely use some more vlog ideas. What do you want? What do you want to see me do? <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. I love you guys and I'll see you next week.
Bye.